Good morning. It's what? another Wednesday. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. It is what time is it? Seven oh three in the morning. I'm ironing the boys' go. clothes. And we're gonna open our presents. You're gonna. Yep. Today we open presents because we're going away to Georgia for Christmas. And we're gonna open our presents now, mommy. Not right now. Later on today. Oh, so yeah. tonight we're going to be opening presents. Are we going to do after we come back to school? Mm -hmm, this, tonight. So it's a very exciting day. So join us and see the madness that is um, our morning routine. And our day today is just going to be, you know, an interesting day. See, this, this is life. This is 7 o'clock in the morning. This is, I was Bible journaling my bed. I got up. I didn't make up my bed. Um, then I started ironing the boys' clothes because they put their clothes out every night in these red baskets um, in their room. I'll insert the um, info bar up here about our nighttime routine so you can see better what I'm talking about. And so now I'm ironing the clothes. I like to iron the clothes in the morning because I just, I don't know, I think it's just nice to get into some warm, crisp clothes, especially when it's cold outside. But as you can see, look at this. Just life. Just life. Just room. Just looking a hot, flaming mess. You know. But I'm going to straighten it up. I got a couple of loads of laundry to put away. I got my bed to make up. And that's just home today flaming hot mess but yes he's on a conference call that he's on a prayer line conference call that he gets on in the morning and today daddy's home and we're gonna be hanging out today we're having a date day we're having a date day christmas date day hey family See, that's why I don't do this stuff when he's around. It's nasty. Okay, so it's now 7.49 and the Yay! boys are eating their breakfast. And, um, and it's snowy! It's not snowy. And they were reciting their memory verses that we gave them. <coughs> Sorry, whoa. For the week. And um, yeah, today is going to be an awesome day. We get, we get to open one of our presents. We get to open... We like to open all of our presents. We have to open some of the presents. Why? Like two, because, three, four. Um, the some because some of them I don't want you to open yet until we come back from Georgia. So yay! So here is the tree. And the gifts that will be open. Do Seems to me I remember a day last July when you complained for an entire morning about the heat. You wish for winners, remember? You put Christmas music on the stereo. Now it's cold for real and you're wishing for hot weather. Aren't you ever satisfied? So we're going out. We're going out with daddy, right? Mm-hmm. Mm Daddy's taking us out on a special I day today. To hold it. You wanna hold it? Okay, he's trying to hold this on his I'll hold it for you because you can't see it. So. just ate at Miss Shirley's restaurant in Baltimore and it was amazing. I'm mad that this is my first time going. Do you have anything to say for yourself, sir? I have nothing to say. This guy's been going to Miss Shirley's for, um, what, like, um, I even there once. breakfast and stuff for, for work, I even there once. for work meetings. Once. I just even there once. 
Only once in my lifetime. I've twice. <laughs> He's been twice that I know of. Every time she wants to go out to eat, she wants to go to um, Olive Garden. So. That's not true. Or Cracker Barrel. That's not true. Or um, see, he can't even keep the, he, just, he can't even keep up with like. the the lie. The lie. The lie. But we had a good time it's about, there. It's not about how long I've been going. It's about the fact that you had a great time today and it changed your life. It did. My soul. My soul smiled today. I'm gonna start a picture of all the food. Like even the kids' meal was like gourmet status with this beautiful, like black and red ceramic sectioned tray with the compartments. It was just beautiful. It was good. And I had um, they were gingerbread, um, was a French toast. It was stuffed with a gingerbread flavored cream cheese icing. That's fat. Mm. Okay, there, there was even half of a gingerbread man chilling out the side with whipped cream and and, and, and Christmas sprinkles. It was just life changing, and I think like the the plate itself was drizzled with um like raspberry syrup. It was just good. And what did you have? Just some pancakes. No, they were um they weren't just pancakes. Their pancakes are amazing. He had like strawberry and whipped cream short stack, and then we had the made your own omelet um well we got spinach and cheese and and jalapenos and that came with a biscuit which was flaky and delicious it was everything was just so good also had a napkin too and forks and spoon for you it's not a big deal <laughs> for you you can just joke about oh it was just a bad napkin because he does this stuff all the time no i do <laughs> she, let, let's let's debunk the <laughs> I have not gone to this place often. Anywho, I just wanted to share my experience because it changed my life. Caleb had a good time too, <laughs> but he looks like he needs a nap right about now. Yeah, but we're heading, where are we heading? We're heading somewhere else. We're heading to the mall. Yep. So, we'll see you in a little bit. We need an oil change. Yeah. Before we get on the road to Georgia. Tomorrow. I'll go tomorrow morning. Um, so we just left the mall and look, I got my eye. You see my eyes? How my eyes looking all eye. -y. I got uh help from a makeup person to get me a color match for my foundation and concealer that I ran out of that I had gotten like a year ago and yeah I'm really excited the hubby treated me to uh, some new makeup Mexico. we try to play it all all cool like whatever oh, I don't know I was on camera I you on camera uh, yeah that's what you do man uh, you know you take mom. what do you say bud uh, what does it matter Caleb Nice. X Y. X Y. What about it? It's a Pokemon. From Pokemon. So yeah, so I got this whole like eyeshadow palette with my eyes all popping like this now, and some um, eyeliner. I never wear eyeliner, but I'm seeing the gloriousness of it now and a concealer and um, a foundation. And yeah, I'm feeling good. You like the way I look? Are you talking to me? Yeah. You know, with, with the makeup, without the makeup, you look great. You just say that because you're on camera. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it doesn't make a, make a difference to me. What? You mean it? Yeah, well, it doesn't make a difference to me. So we're heading our way home. Um, 
I'm gonna, uh, I gotta get some things for, remember I gotta get the um, cars for Solomon's class and the coffee mugs for the teachers. So I'm gonna DIY some teacher Christmas gifts. If you follow me on Instagram, you would've seen my, um, the cocoa mugs that I made for the family, the monogram ones that I made pretty much by just drawing on them with a Sharpie and then you bake it for half an hour in the oven and it makes it permanent and it's dishwasher safe. So I'm gonna make some customized ones for the boys' teachers and probably stuff it with some candy and stuff like that as a Christmas gift because tomorrow is the last day before Christmas break and I wanted to make something for the teachers. Very cheap, very, very inexpensive, but very nice because it's like personalized. So I'm gonna head off and do that and then we'll be on our way home. So I went to Mac today, what? and this is my Christmas gift. <laughs> we don't get a lot of stuff for each other. We either have to pick one thing and that's it. My husband was so gracious enough to decide that I've been complaining about my makeup and how it's crap and how I've had it for years and how most of it is probably expired or crumbling and falling apart. And he took me to Mac today and I got my whole makeup done and the lady color tested me and got me a new foundation, a concealer, eyeliner, which I never wear, but now I'm a grown woman now. So I guess I should be wearing eyeliner. I can do some winged liner and stuff like all the young kids do now. <laughs> And I also got this um, eyeshadow compact, and I'm gonna get go back and get another one, another color. But I really love these three colors together. They work really well for an everyday neutral eye color. Um, a little bit shimmery, but still subtle and noticeable at the same time. So I really, really love it. And I'm really grateful. Thanks, babe. Did a little bit of a Dollar Tree haul because I need to get Christmas cards for my oldest son because they're doing their gift fix, their um, card exchange in their class tomorrow. My kindergartner, he did his card exchange. Um, he turned in his cards earlier this week and they did their card exchange today. Tomorrow's the last day before Christmas break. They're having a half day, so we're gonna have a party and I'm gonna have him fill out these cards tonight for his classmates. I also got some gift tags because I got these two boxes that fit these mugs perfectly and I'm going to write with um, paint marker the teacher's names on there to just make them really nice and personalized because I've done some for the family and they turned out really good. I'm going to show you in a minute. And inside of each of the mugs, I'm going to put a couple of pop packets of Swiss Mitts um, marshmallow hot cocoa and also some Andes. So each one is going to get a pack of Andes and hot cocoa in their personalized mug inside of this basket and I got one card I wasn't able to get two cards but I'm probably gonna have my oldest um, son my seven-year-old write this card out to his teacher and it's gonna go with this and the mug and it's gonna be awesome so let me show you the personalized hot cocoa mug that I made for the family and then you get an idea of what I'm actually going to be doing with these so these are the personal mugs that I've made from um, and these were from the Dollar Tree this was a different Dollar Tree I was trying to find the exact same mug but the Dollar Tree I went to didn't have it. So I'm just going to do the plain black for the teachers. But for all the members of our family, I did one. Mine is in the dishwasher. It, it washes perfectly. All you do is use your Sharpie oil-based paint marker. I, I did the fine point one. Write whatever you want on there. When you make mistakes, just have some alcohol candy so you can wipe it off and start again. And then when you're satisfied with what you have, put it in the oven. Put the mugs in the oven. Seriously, bake them in the oven. I put mine standing up on a cookie sheet, bake them for 30 minutes on 350 degrees, and that's what sets them and makes it permanent. These have been in the dishwasher and they are perfectly fine. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the teacher's mugs. So the boys open their gifts and I package their teacher gifts for tomorrow and we are done. Okay, and I wanna show you the gifts that I made for the teachers. So pretty much everything came from the Dollar Tree, except for the bags, which actually came from Michael's. Um, so the little box from the Dollar Tree, and then this is a coffee mug, and I personalized each coffee mug with the first initial of each teacher's last name. And so this is for my seven-year-old's teacher. And then inside, it's two packages of hot cocoa and um, um, about a dozen of those Andy's chocolate candies. So, yeah, that's the gift for each teacher, a personalized mug.
that they can use and do hot chocolate and have So guys, I'm gonna end this vlog right here because I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I kinda was up late last night and then we were, you know, running around today. Fun stuff, but we're running around today and it's 7.43 right now and the boys are getting their showers and they're getting ready for bed. And again, if you want to see what we did in our nighttime routine or what our normal nighttime routine is, I'll definitely link it right here so that you can see exactly how the boys pre prep for the next day and, you know, my kitchen cleaning routine and everything. I've already cleaned the kitchen. It's not spotless, but I'm tired tonight. And um, I'll probably show you an overview of um what it looks like at the end of the day and that's it so guys i hope you enjoyed this weekly wednesday vlog um definitely check us out next time and we'll talk to you later from one amazing mother to another bye Whoops.